Hey everyone, it's Zero Designs here, and today I'm going to show you this little trousy effect um, I made in this intro. I used in this intro, I'm sorry. So it pretty much builds it up and um, from little pieces that grow. And it looks really fancy, and uh, that's what I'm going to show you today. So um, for this um, tutorial, you're going to need the plugin called Trousy, and I have another video about how to get it and how to use it. But um, let's get started. So go to MoGraph, Mo Text, and um, let's type in your text, or my text in this case, um, zero. Uh, let's give it a little cap, fill a cap, fill a cap, and make it one one and scale it up a bit there we go so let's change the font to something nice uh, i'm just going to use harabara and let's go so we got our text now go to select your text go to plugins throwsy throwsy and for tutorial sakes i'm just going to use 10 pieces but you should go somewhere between 40 and 200 so um a lot more than I have, but um, I cannot render this out uh, while recording, so that's why I'm going to use 10. So let's go. There we go, we got our pieces up. Um, so you could just keep the material on. Um, make sure to delete these things, the dynamic tags, and just select the pieces. Like um, you have this little frowsy 10, 0, yeah. So just click the plus and select all the pieces and drag them into the upper one. Close that down. Delete the lowest one. Repeat the same process. And just put all the pieces like in one of the things. So um, you just have one thing with all of them. So select that, go to MoGraph, Effector, Plane Effector. So make sure to select that um, little um, thing. I don't know what the fuck that's called. But um, let's continue. Um, make sure scale is selected. So now if you go to X or Y or Z, you're going to get a um, weird effect. So um, just go to uniform scale. Make sure that's selected and make it minus one. So now it's completely gone. We don't want that. So uh, make the follow up, make it a box. So you can already kind of see what we get here. But um, it's not how we want it. So let's scale up this box by um, selecting the little um, kind of um, square thing. And make it a little bit longer. There we go. So be a bit bigger still so until everything is completely gone pretty much so there we go everything's gone it's building up nicely but um we're gonna make this a lot a lot nicer because it kind of looks well not that nice does it and it also doesn't look nice because I'm using 10 pieces, but it will look nicer on your thing. But um, so we're still going to make this better. So select the fracture object again. Let's just re rename this. Rename this um, pieces. There we go. Select that MoGraph effector, random effector. So we're going to use the same thing. We're going to go to fall off and make it a box. So now just go to the plane and select all these values and copy them in the um, random effect so it's, get, it's, it's getting about the same size select that and paste it in there oops sorry guy <laughs> uh, select that paste in here and select that and paste it in here. So now we have two same size boxes. Uh, let's just move them together. Alright, let's just select the plane and the random effect here. Go to Alt G and that's going to group them. So this is going to make your um, animation a lot smoother. 
Of course, it looks shit because I'm using way too big pieces, but you're going to use uh, smaller pieces. It's going to look nicer. So let's just keyframe this. Um, let's go to 70 and drag it out and keyframe again. So now we got our little animation up. Um, so what we could want to change is um, how they get in. Like, um, go to select your MoGraph. I don't know how if this works, but MoGraph effect here. Um, where is it? Where is it? Delay effector. And go to deformer. No, no, not deformer. Effector and make it spring. I think this will work. Yeah, that will work. So that will make your animation look uh, really nice, really smooth. Pretty much what it, what the delay effector does, it makes it makes it pop out and then get to the original value of the position. So that's gonna make your animation a lot nicer. You can see it at the O. So let's just play this out real quickly. You can see they kind of um, blend in instead of just get in. So this is pretty much the effect. You can um, add materials, add camera options, and uh, add better lightning. But um, this is the basic idea of what you're gonna get. And uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please leave a rating, a like, probably better than dislike. But um, like, favorite, comments on ideas, tutorial ideas, and um, I'll see you soon.